Lovely. Hello, what is going on guys? Spark Guru here and today we're back with part two of Man of Badan. If you haven't seen part one, you should go check that out, but basically nothing really happened. We just made some friends. We sort of got to know the characters. And I'm pretty sure I remember some of the characters' names. Um, Fliss. Alex. Something beginning with M. One of them was beginning with M. But guys, before we jump into the story uh, today, I just want to give you a little bit of, um, I don't know, a little bit of context to it. So when I played the first part, i done a bit of research and I found out that this game is actually based on um, real events. Um, the ship that you go on in the prologue is a real ship um, that exists. I think it, it, it's a real myth of a ship. I don't know if there's any actual proof that it existed, but there's accounts of it. Something like that is quite thingy. So if you're enjoying the game and you know you want to learn a bit of history, you know you should go check it out. I believe I believe the ship was called the Orang Madan, which I think translates to Man of Madan. Um, or something which is why the, the game's called that. But anyway guys, we're not we're not doing a history lesson. We're gonna jump into the game and uh, we're gonna continue from where we left off. I've gotta be honest with you. I'm quite nervous because I don't know why, but because I know that these characters' lives are in my hand, I feel a lot of responsibility to try and keep them alive. Because you know, I don't want these characters to die, you know, because they 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 glue so well together, you know. So, oh, it's okay. The game's crashed, so don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my god! Because I know that the game. The choices you make have an impact. That's what the creator told me. He said to me, he came down and he said that all your actions have consequences. And I love it, but I hate it at the same time. But let's uh, let's get into the game. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the... Did she just travel through time? Because she just said the same thing twice. And sharks? Sharks? It was a great reef. Wasn't Comrade gonna get but us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yes. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet. Brad! His name's Brad. I left there you go, I remember that now. Check it out. Brad. What's going on here? Hey there. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Would you call Sorry, me polar bear? Uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. It, what an experience it was. I expected it to be cool, but that was that was like life changing cool. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Bullshit. <laughs> you're staring off into the ocean like a zombie, and now you're all grumbly. Just tell me what's up. I guess I've just been worrying about things a lot lately. Nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about, really. We have to I stay as a team if we're gonna survive. Great. Okay. I'm gonna go find Brad and Conrad and Fliss. Oh, hey, found him. You seen my brother or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? Oh. Apologize. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. <laughs> All right. Let's have a little beer, shall we? Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. By that you mean I'll go get it. Yeah, of course. I'll right. go get it. You seem kind of preoccupied. What's this? No. Oh. Well. Oh. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Hey! Look at that. One for Instagram. Took a picture of that as well. This is basically just recapping what we did in the last episode. Whoa, that's that's one for Instagram, that is. Bloody skeleton. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. What? Well, I was gonna. Jeez, man! I was just looking through the camera. Come here, you vixen. Oh. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Oh, that's a bit awkward. <laughs> that's a bit right awkward. Here. All right. 
How many beers did we bring, man? <laughs> Bloody hell. You'll get no resistance there. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Manchurian Abby? gold, eh? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. And this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. So and why it was, was it shut down? Rafts must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I Whoa. told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come Whoa. on, we've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. Whatever you took, it was too much. Whatever we took was too much. Apologetic. We need to keep right. the team together. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. There you go. She can't okay. stay mad now. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know you. It's bad luck. You think you can oh. scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring oh. back has an essence. It's like a ghost oh. you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. Maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. <laughs> not like for fun. People drown in these waters, and you have to respect their resting place. Damn oh straight. man, Fred, this ain't much of a party. Got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard. That. <laughs> I like how she was just like, right they're not cool yeah. ghost stories. He's like, you got a nice cool ghost story, ain't you? <laughs> just like right in front of her. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Oh, scare away, little bro. Okay. This is annoyed. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. Okay. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. Ooh. She's stumbling down the beach. He asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> this ain't about doing it, man. He of the one track mind. The woman answers I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, what? the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. Oh I mean, do God. people even use axes anymore? Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Giblets. Okay, so, who did it? Who the did woman do says, it? it was my husband. And she turns to the closet says he's in there ah yes the husband so the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet opens the door and sure enough there's a man inside but he's cut his own throat closer closer and he sees it's his own face whoa his eyes bulge out and screams <laughs> whoa <laughs> Gross. Super how, the nice. how the fuck did he time that with the lightning? That's clever. Nice one, Squire. We should all turn in. There's some. Uh, uh -oh. so we get to know. bed. Because no, according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> <laughs> <Standard> <laughs> regulations. Regulatory institutional. The regulations. Okay. Uh huh. I'm just following orders, man. So one thing I don't understand is why are they stand out in the middle of the sea. Surely they'd go back to shore. You would have thought, for a small ship, you'd go back to shore. I mean, I'm not sure about that, but... <laughs> Is it gonna get spooky now? Everyone's sleeping with clothes on, that's a bit weird. That's a bit weird. Bloody hell. What the fuck? No, I don't like the sound. I don't like this at all. Oh! <coughs> Fuck you, hell, man. What the hell's going on, man? QTEs? Oh my god, I nearly missed that because I had the control. I was so busy watching it. Oh, what the fuck kind of fetish is going on in here? What's the problem, guys? What's the problem? Oh, we should have gone back to shore. Ah, oh, it's him! We gave you like 50 bucks though, man. What's the problem? Absolutely brilliant. Wait, where's Brad? Hmm. Ungag the woman. I'm pretty sure I could do the other one as well. Oh. 
Well, we should probably ungag him, right? <laughs> we can't just. We'll talk later. Oh, he's got a bit of stubble. That must have hurt a little bit, actually. Wow, she was brave about that. That was a rough one as well. You okay? I think so. Okay. That was worth it, wasn't it? Come on, man. We just want to chat. Just comply. Just comply with what they ask you. Is the best way to survive. Do we want to get untied, though? I mean, that might, just might provoke them. These are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh God damn it, Conrad! Is ah. just great. And the good news? Ah, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought <laughs> asked the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Investigate. It's always best to investigate. Jump scare. You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna run in a cell. <laughs> Fuck, man. He's QTEs, man. Ah, fucker. What'd you call me? I'll be back for you later. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're Whoa. the little lady. Oh, you didn't give me a QTE. It's not fair, I've got my hands tied up. Ah, oh, come on. She's not doing a lot to stop it, though. What do you want? What do you fuckers want? Let's get to business. Stop! Please, just stop. Oh, now she's finally doing something. I don't know what to do, man. Probably agitate. Just stop, man. There's no point pissing them off. We gotta buy our time. Where is Brad? That's what I want to know. Oh, there was a premonition. Be on your best behavior, he, there was a premonition. He's still in his room. Okay. Okay. We're coming back. Hide. Fucking look tied up. Shit, man. He's okay. He's okay. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Alex, no, man. The bastards! Shut the fuck up. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think they're gonna hit her. I didn't. I think I have a good chance to keep everyone alive. Oh, I could do right. it. All right. I could do it. They're not, they're not doing anything. They're not asking. Fuck. They're not telling us what they want, fuck. man. What's the point? What's the point, man? Hey, are you okay? Oh, well done. Nice and supportive, mate. He just fucking them. sat there, done nothing. They asked about our parents. What? How much parents. money they have? Okay. It's about the money. It's about the money, money, money. It's always about the money, money, money. So just pay him. Well, surely they'll have to keep you alive to get the money. Go back to land, give him the money. We're done, aren't we? That rain looks really good, though. Storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. <laughs> Just stand there Let's in help. his boxes. <laughs> I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Don't know. Don't like this. Good call. Why are we taking the boat? Okay, so we're gonna have some QTEs, I expect. Oh, here we go. Here we go, I can keep calm. I could do this. It's a bit slow. What? Oh, shit. Escape. You know what? I've had enough. 
off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! Oh, now we're in trouble. Oh, this is... I don't know if this is working. I don't know if this is the best option. I mean, I've got past the QTE, so... He's got a gun. He's got a gun! Oh, fuck. He's distracted. Oh, fuck. Oh! Nearly. Nearly, nearly. Oh, heavy. We can't catch him with this old junker. Ah. Oh. Oh. Bring them downstairs. I think he could have died then, but luckily he didn't. <laughs> luckily he didn't. Stop. They're talking to French. Just sit down, man. Stop antagonizing them. Come here. Oh, they found the secret coordinates. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this? Manchurian gold. Um. So what's Comrade gonna do anyway? Can he sail it away? What's she just fucking looking at the window? I think Connie's okay. All right, shut the fuck up! I barely said anything. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Yeah. Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. I bet you told him about the Manchurian gold. Whoa, They're whoa. Goats. Whoa! Well, where's these accusations come from? Is it true? I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? This is a trap, and you set us yeah, up! Yeah, so. Whoa. What a cork in it. I'm not making these accusations. Oh, fuck. Fucking shit. That's alright, she only fell over as well. Sit still, all of you. Come with me. Oh, but they're in cahoots. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Do you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Anything fishy, eh? Look at Milan requesting weather update. Over. Don't do anything. Everything okay? Over. Yeah. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. I said, it's don't a do little anything bit hairy crazy. out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. There you go. Okay. We're gaining his trust. It's the long game. We have to gain his trust so then we can abuse it at the last. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck it, Elfless. Fuck it, what's going on here? We need a bigger ship. We need some more QTEs. Wait, this is my ship, man. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Yeah, just cut it loose, man. Oh, fuck it up. Help. That's it. We no. work as a team. What about Brad, though, he's still in the bedroom, isn't he? You know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Are you saying that in front of him? Don't bloody hear you! He might drown. We can't leave him down there. He could drown. Brad, buddy, come out! Oh. Oh well. There you go. He's fine. Brad's fine. Oh, there's a ship. Big ship. We can hide on there. I have, oh, I've, oh, I've just realised what ship this is. We probably don't want to go on that ship. Whoa, indeed, we do not want to go on it. We'll take our chances. We'll take our chances out at sea. 
How did they not see that? It's a massive ship. They, you tell me they didn't see it. Everyone's still alive. Yay! <laughs> Oh, he looks a bit stressed out. I don't think he's happy everyone's alive. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold really? move that paid off. This time, kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Okay. Tempted? Forewarned is forearmed. <laughs> okay, then. We will turn to the bard for inspiration. All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. All that glitters of gold. All the shooting stars where they anyway, are. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Okay. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. He did drink that. Probably shouldn't have said that. Everything is not what it seems. Why are we on this ship? Why? Did you not watch the prologue? La porte! La porte! Why have they got changed? No, guys, we can't go on this ship. We can't. There was literally a dead body hanging off it and you decided to go on it. Like, who does that? I better have the controller just in case there's a QTE or something. Go. We I don't want to go on it. I'd rather you shoot me. I'd rather you shoot me. Everyone's doing alright there. I'm surprised there's no QTE of having to jump on or something like that. Well, guys. Oh, we're on the ship, man. Was the dead body not a giveaway not to go on the ship? Was that not a giveaway? That's where we were in the first episode. I'm going this way. Back. <laughs> I just I just I just wanted to see what's going on man. I'm it's just I'm just playing. Let's have a look. This could be a clue. Hey. Well Bro, I just wanna look at the guard duties man. Just don't get all antsy. Someone's feet hanging. Is this not a sign that we should leave? That we should maybe not be on here? They all died for a reason, I mean it's common sense, isn't it? This um didn't even scare me. We shouldn't be on the ship. But there's a skull poster that's in like perfect condition somehow. Like how does that work? Is this a sleeping quarters? Miller. Uh, she's got a weird facial expression while she's walking around this ship. Didn't even scare me. Uh, you're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He's sick again. Conveniently, it's always when he's on guard duties. The third time this week, none of us like it down there. Maybe Patterson should back up. Just get on. Okay. So he was sick. So there was obviously some sort of sickness going on that people were ignoring. What the fuck is she... Hang on. Can we get... Can we see her face? Look at... Oh, what's she doing? Look. Oh, shut your mouth, man. Come on. Okay. All of you, into the room. Hey! It's piss black in here! Give us the light! Oh. Oh. Thanks. We're winning their trust. We're winning their trust, man. I love it. That was an easy QT, that was. What the hell is this fucking place? It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. Need new coordinates. Well, I hope he figures out how to get himself to our new coordinates. What's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. Oh, we okay. need to get it back. We gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? Okay. I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? 
What thing's wrong? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, oh, okay. some kind of side deal with these guys. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... <laughs> well, your apology is kinda accepted. Kinda oh. accepted? Kinda? So that should say... Orangamadan. Orang... Whatever it's called. I, I miss you like crazy, baby doll! Three months until oh. next... That's probably not really important. Some glasses? Maybe we could use it as a disguise to get past them? <laughs> I don't know. Hey! Sweet Mother Jesus, little Vin. Well, this dialogue ain't going forever, so it's obviously going to reveal something to me. The whole thing is going too far. Okay. So we might be able to use this to our advantage. Okay, that's very useful information. Very useful. Over here. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Wait, wait. Maybe we should try barricading the door instead. Barricade. Oh, am I pushing this? Did I do it? Can I get some help with this? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, it's not great. Give the lady a hand. It's like, do you want to stop kicking until we sort this out? There we go. There we go. Push it. Come on, Brad. Good lad, Brad. Push it up. There we go. We're doing it. What's going on? We're getting out of it, Brad. Come on. Hurry up, Brad. We're all gonna survive this, don't worry. Good. Good. Good! We're getting there. Are we safe now? Well, guys, we will not find out if they... No, actually, we'll keep playing. <laughs> I was gonna stop, but we'll keep going. Let's look for some stairs. Are there some stairs in here? What have we got? Uh, mixture of guard duty regulations. No talking, no playing games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Bloody hell. Wait a minute. Guys, nobody is allowed in 3A. Seriously, nobody. Okay, so 3A. Oh, it's doing that cool thing when you can move the flashlight again. That's sick. Sick. Got some laundry. Maybe this is what scared everyone off. <laughs> yeah, laundry. No one likes doing laundry. Whoa! Whoa! Bloody rats! All of that, and I just look at some stuff for the washing machine. I can't even interact with it. Alright, so I think we've explored in here. I could do with a premonition, you know. I could do with a premonition at this point. Oh, yeah, because that's in the intro. It was like, Cargo Hold 2! But then everyone's talking about Cargo Hold 3, so I'm like, I don't really know. Was it scary? Oh, bathroom. Nothing bad ever happens in the bathroom. Ah. Oh. The fuck? Is that. Oh, I'll go for now. There's some commotion outside. Jesus, what's next? That's a weird thing to write in a letter, isn't it? Oh, hang on. There's nothing there. Spooky. This is a dead end. I just want to stand here, do a little Titanic pose with her ominously standing behind me. Oh, walk towards the camera. Hello! <laughs> Identified areas, brittleness and crack. Kind of a one. It's a little skull. From a, a rat, maybe? Whoa. 
<laughs> what a big average kid! Ah, uh, Skipper has carried the booze. A picture, finally, a premonition. Give me a little hint. Go on. Oh. Doesn't look very promising, does it? Check the other way. Do oh. Okay. How are you doing today? <laughs> Cutscene. I would say I'm safe in a cutscene, but I'm not. Yeah. There's someone down there already. Shh. Everyone quiet. Oh, it's him. It's our friend. Ah. We shouldn't get it, it's a trap. I'm gonna go get it. No, it's a trap. Fliss, it's a trap. Fliss, Fliss, it's a trap. How are you gonna drop that height? Come on. You're gonna die because I can't do the cue to you. Come on, we gotta think this through, man. Right, we have gotta think this through. Wait. Warm Brad. Someone's coming. We gotta work as a team. That's what we do. Because I don't know what face you pull in in these videos, but they're not necessary. Come here. Whoa, whoa! Why would you do that? Why would you do that? No, please. How could you not see him? <gasps> is it a keep calm? A keep calm? Is it? Is it a keep calm moment? Distract. <laughs> All right, I see you. Or at least he didn't shoot me. Stand over there with her. I should have diverted him, really. The words were too similar. Divert and distract. I, was, I couldn't quite tell which was which. Oh, we're gonna get frisky. What are we doing? I thought we were following them. Okay, so guys, it's a bit of a strange time to end it, but we've played for an hour, so I think now is the time. Basically, they've been captured. They've run off. And you'll have to you have to wait till next time to see what happens, won't you? So we're getting there. We've got a bit of a story coming. There's a bit of horror come to the surface as well, which is quite nice. Um there was a lot of build up to these characters, and I'd like to point out that everyone is alive. Forty six percent look. Well, that's actually that's a very strange percentage that it's forty six point eight one zero 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 one. That's very strange. But there you go. That's a little sneak peek, I guess, to what we're doing next as the caskets. But guys, we've made some good progress today. We've established the characters a bit more. And best of all, everyone's still alive. I can't actually believe it. That's a good job. We're going to try and keep everyone alive. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying the, the spooks um, on the channel. Um, I hope you're enjoying the story. I'm really enjoying it. I'm thinking it's, it's a well done. Even though I didn't expect myself to enjoy it because it's not really a game. It's more of like an interactive movie, but I think that it's it's interesting. It's an interesting story. I like it more that it's based on sort of like real myths and stuff as well. Um, and I'm enjoying it, and I hope you are as well. Um, so if you are, let me know in the comments. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. So um, take care, and goodbye for now.